hi guys thank you all for tuning in welcome back to my youtube channel this is grace with the great i film about faith and i inspire people to become more productive today um, i'm actually pretty excited to you know shoot this video because it is a first of many more to come um this is going to be the first series of 15 minutes with jesus okay so this is part one of that series um i really pray that at the end of the day we shall all be blessed we shall have something to take back with us at the end of you know whatever it is i'm about to say to you um today's series is titled friendship the wrong friendship the right friendship if you are interested to know what i actually have to say about this keep watching I actually decided to talk to us today about friendship because one way or the other we either have friends or you are actually a friend to someone so this is a topic that actually affects everyone no matter you know your age or whatever it is you're doing at the moment you have to currently be conscious um, to decide the type of friends that come into your life Today I'll just be talking us through four very interesting um, Bible verses. I'll read it out and I'll try to explain to you guys what I believe it means and how I think, you know, this should actually, if these verses can influence the type of friendships we keep and the type of friends we are, the world would definitely be a better place. Okay, so the first verse I would like us to um, go through today is Proverbs 27 verse 17. Proverbs 27 17 says iron sharpeneth iron so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend iron sharpeneth iron obviously for most of us who have actually seen like a knife being sharpened or just anything any metallic object any iron object or it, I mean you watch movies you see all this when these guys sharpen their swords you can only use iron to sharpen iron or use like steel to sharpen steel you cannot use any other you know form of item wood plastic rubber it doesn't cut it it has to be iron because that is what is going to sharpen iron um i believe personally if you already view yourself as the good friend okay so say you have a friend and you think oh i'm a good friend i do everything right but you tend to see you know issues maybe with the way your friend behaves or the way they live their lives then you probably shouldn't be keeping them as a friend if you're not able to help them better themselves if you're not able to say to them this is wrong i think you made a wrong decision yesterday i think this is how you should go about this project or this phase of your life then you probably shouldn't have them in their life in your life okay if you do not have people you can learn from my younger brother just actually came to my mind he's about five years younger than me but this guy all of his friends are older than him Aside to those he has at you know in uni currently, he's always always very comfortable around my friends, around my elder sister's friend. You know, he talks to married men and, and he just has a way he flows with them, interactive conversations. The whole point here is if you're around someone and you're not learning from them, or you know, you're not able to teach them something, you probably should not be around that person because trust me life is very very short and very very quick you want to make sure you're making use of every moment you have you don't want to keep you know jeopardize the, the chances god is actually giving to you in life okay so learn to keep friends around you who are going to sharpen you who are going to help you make the right decisions it's actually nice if you can reflect at this moment what are you going through is it something academic is it you know in the current relationship you're facing your spiritual growth you know what is it do you have a project coming on do you have an event you're trying to host the type of people around you are they able to actually support you are they able to help you make decisions you know to better what it is you're engaging yourself into at the moment the second verse I would like us to read from is Proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 Proverbs 18 24 says a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother okay 
so the first half says if you have friends you must be a friendly person as well don't expect from people what you cannot give back to them don't expect your friends to always be there for you when you find it hard to actually always be there for them it's very easy to feel like oh okay they're always asking me for my money or she's always trying to you know lend or borrow something from me i don't have that time i don't want to give it this time around you just feel like i've given too many times now i have to stop that's not an attribute of a true friend okay that's not an attribute of a true friend there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother when i was younger actually i used to say a lot i'm still too young i've not had enough experiences for me to actually judge some things in life or to be able to make positive critics but at this stage in my life believe me guys when it comes to choosing your friends you need to be very conscious it's not everyone who says can i be your friend or who you know with their actions not necessarily with their words who want to be around you who should be around you okay especially the fact that it takes a lot of time to actually judge who a true friend is most of the times you feel oh that's it we, we only talk on the phone or i'm gonna send her a text or yeah i'm gonna send her some money or some food or something and that you think it ends there no you would need a longer period of time to actually assess if this is a right friend for you so you don't want to spend that much energy on a wrong person okay because if you're like me you would put a lot of emotions in your friendship so when you actually have a friend you trust them so so much that if they do something you know you cannot vouch for you're, you're really hurt that's how I see my friends you know so if I'm actually letting you into my circle is because I can literally trust you till the latter okay so if one day you're going to disappoint me um, then yeah very soon expect me to start ignoring you or to slowly cut you off okay um, yeah so a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother so some friends would be there for you literally you you call you call on them before you actually go to a relative so either a sibling or a cousin you actually there's some friends you actually think of think of first yeah before you actually think of even your parents you're like oh no so i have this friend oh no, no i'm gonna call i'm gonna send can help and i know even if she cannot help she'll be will willing to actually speak to me we should strive to be that type of friend as well to our friends okay um the third verse uh, which i would like us to go through is luke chapter 6 verse 31 luke 6 31 says and as ye would and as ye would that men should do to you do ye also to them likewise i don't know why i picked this version of the bible but <laughs> that's fine the point there is do unto others what you want others to do unto you i really just love the bible because it's able to teach you you know it's able to affect every phase of your life no matter what it is you're going through no matter what it is you're struggling through there is a verse in the bible that can actually comfort you and speak to you despite the situation so here it says you know in layman terms do unto others what you want others to do unto you if you want to you know call someone probably you need help and you're expecting them to help you be that person who would help when someone else calls you okay if you want to just I don't know take a walk or go shopping and you don't want to go alone and you decide oh, okay I'm gonna call my friend um, hopefully she's able to go with me be that person that if your friend actually calls upon you you would also be available you'd be happy to actually go the extra mile some people will keep around us and we call them friends they're just doing it because okay people usually see us together we might as well just stick together yeah they're not at some stage it will if it doesn't favor them if it doesn't you know go for their own good as well they're not gonna do it if you have a type of friend who joins you to say evil things or wicked things about other people trust me one day they would sit with other people to say wicked things about you that's just logic if you're keeping people around you who easily think of something wicked to do like oh i can't believe he did that to you let's let's do this let's revenge let's you know one day <laughs> 
the ball would be in their court and they would sit with other people and make plots against you the whole point again is do to others what you want others to do unto you you're not gonna keep um, a friend who is very comfortable and happy harming other people and you expect him not to harm you tomorrow he's gonna turn against you and harm you okay um, the last verse I'd like us to focus on is John chapter 15 verse 13 John 15 13 right. greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friend greater love has no man than this than a man lay down his love for a friend obviously here it's referring to Jesus Jesus Christ um, who actually gave his life for mankind for the redemption of our of our sins um, obviously to bring us fr from where we were into the eternal grace the eternal life of God into the kingdom of God <clears throat> so he redeemed us from our sins and brought us into eternal life okay the Bible says that greater love hath no man than this if we actually try to be practical about it can you imagine yourself I won't even go to the ex I won't even say dying for a friend actually getting beat or getting like cuts or something actually going through some form of physical torture for a friend or not eating don't get me wrong it's not that like you don't have the money or you don't you have all of these things but because a friend doesn't have it you decide okay we're gonna be in this together plain friendship not a sibling not a parent you have no other ties except your friendship talk less of someone who actually went the extra mile and actually gave his life for those of us who have read the, the you know the story of the death of Jesus it's it's just mind-blowing it's mind-blowing some images try to depict the fact he was covered or he had some little piece of clothing around him if you read the Jewish history very well you know that those guys were completely naked they had nothing on, on them you know carrying a cross around town and then you're being whipped and flogged and those whips everything is online for facts those whips usually had either nails or bottles or just something sharp at the edge of the whip so you have a whip that has like 10 cords and then you have this sharp object at the end and then you're being whipped with that it's obviously pulling out your flesh and you're getting torn apart and it's just a horrible horrible sight okay the whole point here is that Jesus has given his life for us on the cross he's forgiven us our sins and he's given us you know access to the presence of God he's given us access no longer do you need to go through any man most importantly there is one thing the Bible teaches which I believe supersedes everything else which is the fact that you are saved by the grace of God there is no amount of works today we have so many religions out there just because the heart of man hungers man actually mankind knows that there is a God out there and you just long to serve that God you, you just want to know I mean because you understand there is a supreme power you're trying to figure out what that power is how that power came about and then there is the birth of so many religions but then what the Bible tells us is that you're saved by grace through faith you're not saved by works there is no amount of prayer or charity or you trying to get it all together or moral you know consciousness that can actually get you to heaven because come to think of it if we actually want to be honest to ourselves you'd realize that as a man you would always sin you would always that's why you're human that's why you're in the flesh you would you know you would actually always do something which offends God so I believe it it's only logical to say that you've been saved through grace because even if you were to rem remain on this earth for the next 800 years as long as you are on this earth as a human you would sin so why keep stressing yourself and struggling and doing all of these works and you know all of these things you, you cannot avenge yourself or amend your wrongdoings God has sent his son Jesus Christ who died on the cross and who erased you know all of our past away and who has given us a beautiful eternal future we've got the father 
um so that's what i have for us today guys thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for watching this is me actually wrapping this up cutting this short because i did say i was going to be tagged 15 minutes with jesus um so yes try to keep the right friends try to be a right friend hopefully god is going to strengthen us uh, this is great with the great I film about faith and I inspire people to become more productive if there is any questions you have as related to this video or anything I said you need some clarification kindly put that in a comment section below or let me know any other further type of content you'd like to see on this uh, platform thanks a lot for tuning in guys I love you very much and I will see you in my next video bye